Hello, campers. I'm Mr. Gunn. A while ago, I was showing off one of my camp builds to a friend of mine, and when he got around to the bathroom, he's in there looking around, and, and I was proud of that bathroom. I had the clean sink in there. I had the clean toilet. I had some little plants here and there and a little flowery picture on the wall and what have you, and uh, he's, he's looking around, and he says, uh, you don't have a mirror. There's, there's no mirror in here. Well, I knew there was no mirror in there. I purposely didn't put one up. The only one that was available in the game is that big gold gaudy looking thing that you can get from White Springs. So I just felt it was uh, not complimentary to the build and just didn't put one in there at all. So it was from that experience, I was trying to figure out a way that I could put some other kind of mirror in the bathroom. And I realized that the vanity, the stash box vanity has a large mirror attached to it. So after a little playing around, I was able to glitch a, a uh, clean bathroom sink down into it and, and basically came up with a, a pretty good looking bathroom fixture that solved my mirror problem. So let's take a few minutes and take a look on how you can do this merge for your camp build. Okay, to get started, we're going to need these four items. So let's kind of start with the uh, clean sink first. The uh, clean sink is uh, can be found in your workshop menu under water. And this is now an atomic shop item. It was not before. It used to be a, a season one reward, but it was recently made available in the atomic shop as part of the clean bathroom bundle along with the uh, clean toilet. Next, we will need the end table, and this can be found in the table section of your workshop menu. Now, the end tables are a, a menu item, and it's available from the Brotherhood vendor at White Spring or Vendor Bot Phoenix at Watoga Station. And I believe you get uh, a few other uh, items with that uh, end table as well. So you will need the end tables plan, and you can get them again at the White Spring vendor Brotherhood or Phoenix over at Watoga Station. And then, of course, we will need the vanity. Now, the vanity can be found in the stash box section of your workshop menu since it is a stash box. And if you don't have the vanity, you will need to get the elegant tables plan. And that's only available at Pendleton over at White Spring Resort. Now, you need to keep in mind that when you go over there, you're going to see that there's two sets of elegant tables plans. You want to purchase the higher price one. That one will have a desk, the vanity, table, and dresser. And finally, we will need the pressure plate, and that can be located in the power connector section of your workshop menu. All right, to begin with, the first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to need to take this clean sink that we have here, and we're going to have to merge it down into the end table that we have right here. So we're going to grab our end table and move it over to our pressure plate accordingly. And I usually just stick it off to the side there so it hangs over the edge just a little bit, gives me room to stand up on the, on the pressure plate. We'll mount that there. Grab our sink. And we're going to place it up on top. Now, I have found that it's better if you have the drain pipe to the sink away from the back edge of the end table a little bit. I'm just trying to center up here. Let's mount that there and see what we look like there. And that looks pretty good. That's not too bad. That's about what I'm looking for there. We're going to have that drain pipe away from that back edge a little bit. I found that it's easier to merge glitch this whole thing down into the vanity and that's the reason why I had it placed there so I think we look pretty good here it looks fairly even let's go ahead and get up on our pressure plate here and we're going to highlight the uh, end table and then we're just going to pick up and drop pick up and place as we go and we're going to go ahead and move the clean sink down into the end table kind of keep going now we don't want to go all the way down on this because if we do if we go all the way down, the top of the end table is going to stick through the sink. It doesn't look as attractive. So we, there's going to be a little bit of a gap here. I and mean, let's just kind of go down a little bit farther, and you'll see what I'm talking about here. So I'm going to back, highlight this again. And maybe one more should do it, I think, there. Actually, I think I can get away with one another one. I think I get this lower. That's pretty good there. You can see the bottom of that sink bowl is just about touching the top of the end, play, uh, end table there. And if it was to go any farther in, that end table is going to stick through the, the sink bowl here. And we don't want that. This looks pretty good right here. And uh, I might even be able to get away with one more push on it. I'm going to try it here. Let me see if we're lucky on this here. Yep, there it is. I got it down a little bit more. And as you can see... The top of the end table did not come through the sink. And if I went down another one, I can guarantee you it would go through the sink. All right, with that done, we're going to grab our end table now. And we're going to place it up on top of the on top of the on top of the uh, vanity. Now, this is a little tricky, so we would kind of want to make sure it's centered. 
Sometimes I push back and then I pull forward a little bit. Just to, And you want to kind of look at the leg edges on the side. I'm going to go ahead and snap it there. Let's get this pressure plate out of the way here first. Okay, and so now it's important we check to make sure everything is lined up. Do the legs look like they're kind of even going from side to side? This looks look pretty good. How's the back look? This isn't bad. This isn't bad. This is about the width you're looking for from the sink to the mirror. You're not going to really get this too much farther back or else you start having problems trying to glitch this down into the into the vanity. And if you get that, if you're trying to place this up here and it says that it's, uh, you start getting an error that it can't place the object, uh, um, then that means you're too far back and you may need to reposition the sink on the end table again and move it a little bit farther forward. But if you have a lot of trouble and this thing won't place, you may have to reposition the sink a little bit more forward for this to work. But uh, this went right up there pretty good. And notice that the faucet is centered with the center of the um, of the vanity, and that's pretty much where we want to be. And I think the whole thing looks pretty well centered and even all the way around. I like that. So we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to grab our pressure plate, move it over to here. Let's grab our vanity, and we're going to put it up on the pressure plate. And now we're going to start to move the end table that has the clean sink attached to it down into the vanity accordingly. Just going to do the same thing. We're going to select in place, select in place, and get this going all the way down. Kind of keep pushing here a little bit. Now, when we get down to here, when you start to see that top of that table come into view, as I can see here, the top of the end table, this is where we want to slow down a little bit. We kind of really just want to get it down to the edge here of the vanity. You'll notice the vanity's got a little bit of a marble design to it as well. That's pretty good right there. I usually like to have that little lip, as you can see right here. There's a little bit of a lip coming up off of it. Okay, and for the most part, this merge glitch came out really looking nice. We have the uh, sink nicely centered on the end table, and then the end table is nicely centered here with the vanity. Everything looks great. We can get a drink of water out of it. That all works. And a lot of times, I like to add a light to my vanity as well. And one of my favorite lights to use is the um, is the Nixie tube lights that you can get in the Atom Shop. These are an Atom Shop item here. But you'll notice that if I try to put these up on here, they won't attach to the to the vanity mirror here at all. It's got to have a wall surface or something close behind it before they'll attach. So let's take a look and see how we can do that. Okay, I have my vanity sink combination sitting outside here against the build of my house on the outside. I find sometimes it's a little easier to put the Nixie wall lights on the vanity from the outdoors uh, sitting outside or anywhere where you can get some more room to stand back. Sometimes it's a little easier standing back from the from the uh, unit itself to put the wall lights up on there. Now, also keep in mind to keep your your uh, vanity is as square as possible to the wall because that's what the lights are really trying to line themselves up to is the wall. So if they start to go on crooked, that's a dead giveaway. Your vanity is a little crooked against the wall and straighten it out and then try it again. And as you can see here, this looks pretty good. Those lights are, are kind of squared up pretty good right there. Yep, I like that, and we'll go with that. And there it is, and boy, does it look great. I really enjoy using this type of merge in my bathroom builds from time to time because it does add another layer of uh, detail to my builds that you don't normally see in camps. And this one does get a lot of remarks by my visitors when they come by and see it, and uh, I'm always proud to show it off. And it's going to look terrific in your build as well. I'm Mr. Gunn. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next episode.